Well, now we want to know about the Everton team for today. So it's back on the Everton bus now as we rejoin Kevin Cosgrove. The Everton team decision has been made. Howard, what is it? Well, Derek's fit. We're quite happy that he came through a fitness test this morning. He's had no reaction to the work that he's done. And I'm delighted for him because, I mean, naturally, he's, uh, he's had his injury problems this season. He's fought his way back. He's been very consistent when he came back in. And to miss out today would have been disappointing for him. But uh, I'm delighted. So what does that make the team, the normal team, if you have a normal team? Because you've had an awful lot of injuries. Uh, I mean, that's, yeah, I think they're uh, sponsored by the star there. They're trying to push the star in front of us. We have had our injury problems, yeah. I mean, naturally, there's, there's certain players who will miss out through injury. Others we are missing out. Uh, naturally disappointed that they're not involved today. Uh, that's one of the hardest decisions to make, really, to leave players uh, out on in cup finals. But um, Adrian Heath will be the substitute. Uh, naturally... Uh, He's disappointed, but I mean, also, we've got Alan Harper and Kevin Richardson. Uh, Liverpool exactly the same. They will have quality players sitting there, not playing, uh, not playing any part today. Derek, you haven't trained all week, and you went through a very rigorous fitness test this morning. <laughs> you must be delighted to come through it. Oh, delighted. It's been a bullying week for me. I've had to train all week, and it's been a bit sore. Well, I felt great this morning. I've had no reaction since, so I'm uh, delighted. Now, as this beat the injury problem made it easier for you to cope with the week because you've had to concentrate on trying to get fit rather than concentrate on what the occasion is about. It's made it more worrying for me, as I said before, because I, I've been, didn't know whether they're going to play or not until this morning, but now I've come through the test, it's, it's a great feeling and just looking forward to the game now. And it's the third cup final on the row for you? I'm, for not, I'm not the only one, but there's a few of me being here at the same time as me, but uh, we're, all, we're all looking forward to it, it should be a great day. Now, something like this, coming here the third time, can you now begin to savour the occasion? I hope so. Uh, first time it flew past me. Uh, I haven't watched the last year's game because we got beat. Hopefully this year I'll be able to save it a bit more and hopefully go on with the cup after the game. Gary? <laughs> as, as usual, the lads are trying to interrupt and all the rest of it. For you, it's the first cup final, and it's always a wonderful experience. Oh, it's great, isn't it? All the idiots at the back there messing us about. But, uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a great day. And now Derek's fit to stop the goals going in at one end. Are you going to be all right to score them at the other? Hopefully. Yeah. If I get a couple of chances, perhaps I'll be able to stick one away. But as long as we win, that's the main thing. Whoever scores, Sharpie or anyone. Even Rats might score again like he did in the last time, <laughs> but that's getting a bit much that. As long as we win. Are the uh, lucky boots packed? Yes, they're definitely in for this one. Uh, missed them in against Oxford, but they're in for this game. So there we are. Derek Mountfield does play today. So the team, which is actually the team in the programme here uh, for the cup final, plays, and Adrian Heath will be the Everton substitute. So all set for uh, Everton. And of course, we've uh, just seen the Everton story. Just at the bottom of the picture there, you can see the Everton coach, that blue dot, getting a bit bigger now. We'll be enjoying this party, Johnny, the lads. I think this is one party, Johnny. Yeah, Everybody likes it. Plenty of reaction, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's tremendous. I think it's one party everyone likes. Yeah, yeah. Nicely composed, the uh, Everton squad. Just a little bit down the road uh, from the stadium. I used to find that the most nervous part of coming to the game, just coming up the oh, Wembley Way. I enjoyed that. Once you got into the stadium, great, walking out to the stadium I was, was magnificent. That, I was, that was one of the best parts of the day for me, that, that, little, that little couple of miles just before the stadium. Magnificent. We but, came here three times, Des, I, I should have said, Liverpool came three times while I was playing at the club, 71. Um, 74 and 77. <laughs> we came up three times and it was, <laughs> you know, it was a fantastic occasion, a magnificent occasion, and we won in 74. It was fabulous. And just to confirm, in case you've tuned in, uh, Mountfield does play for Everton today. He passed a fairly strict fitness test this morning and uh, is in the team, and Adrian Heath is the substitute. He's become, I know he hates this phrase, but he's become something of a super sub for them this season. Three, I mean, there's not many people who've got three players that can play on the back. Like, that's right. They're all good on the ball. They all come forward. All good on the ball. And good on the ball as well. Yeah. 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 I mean, tremendous. The Everton boys are about to uh, arrive now. If they can get in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There was a doorman on there this morning who tried to keep a few of us out. <laughs> <laughs> 
hope he had the right idea as well. <laughs> Keep us all out. They're all, getting, they're all getting pretty used to that now. Certainly a few of them are, anyway. Do you think that'll make any difference today, the fact that, you know, half a dozen of the, of the Everton squad have played here the last couple of years, and, and Liverpool haven't at all? I think, you, I think in FA Cup finals, it's different. I mean, every year, I think no matter how many times you came and played here in an FA Cup final, I think, certainly I felt that the, the two years, that two consecutive years, I wasn't any more comfortable the second year. No. Probably more nervous the second year than, than I was, you know, the first year I played. I think there's, there's two ways of looking at it. One, uh, Everton's been there more times, but I think Everton's got more to lose today. Oh, and I and I it. think that, that where they might uh, lose a bit on those Liverpool perhaps not playing a long while, they're a little bit more comfortable, they've got a trophy yeah. under their belt, and they can say, well, yeah. we want to win like mad, but at the same time, if we've we we done something, right, yeah, wherever, exactly. that feeling they've got, I really think we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Sometimes it goes the wrong yeah. way and makes them just go a little bit too, That's uh, right. too far. I think when the lives are there, I don't think that I don't think they like that. I mean, I don't think they'll be that wrapped up that you know we've got to win it, we've got to win it. I think they'll go out and, and they'll play as normal. And I think I think they feel that they're good enough to win. Yeah. And I know this is as we're saying, this is the last chance of winning anything. And you know, to have had two years like they've had, the thought of actually finishing the season with nothing must be must be terrible. Yeah. Must be frightening for Howard actually. Yeah. He showed that, didn't he? Yeah. Just at the end, they were just yeah. going to win. We want to win that. Well, now the, um, <coughs> the Everton players will be coming into the ground in just a moment or two. Um, but now let's move down to the pitch, uh, because I think Bob Wilson down there uh, is able to talk to one or two of the Liverpool players. Bob, yeah, much for these guys. Let's now hear from our real experts for the big occasion. Well, it's a marvellous day. It is, yeah. Yes, a unique occasion, oh, yeah. in sporting history, this is... Well, you mean another FA Cup, you mean? That's not very unique, is it, really? Because, like, well, I think there was one last year, because... If I yeah. remember, you was actually here, you know, yeah. with no, all that... No, no, this is no, this is no ordinary FA Cup, oh, right, no, no, this no. is the, the first time... Yeah. ...that the two giants of the game... Oh, yeah. ...have met in the FA Cup final. Oh, yeah. Yep, Liverpool and their old rivals, Everton. Oh, yeah, like that. Like, it's like the North West versus the South East, isn't it? Could I, isn't like it, Everton, not like, isn't it? Just uh, it's outside, just outside Brighton, isn't it? Like you go right through Hove, right on the A4, right? Yeah. And then uh, you drive about five and a half hours northwards, and you get to Everton. Oh, that's right. Do you? Oh, it's yeah. in Liverpool, oh, isn't is it? it? How's it in Liverpool then? Like, look, yeah. Mm. You know, the River Mersey. That's right. Yeah. With, Liverpool, with the you got the River Mersey. Yeah. Ferry, with ferry, ferry across, across the Mersey. The Mersey right. Yeah. With that Jerry Marsden and his pacemaker. That's the yeah, one. That's, that's the one. one. Yeah. Now. Yeah. You, on the one side, yeah. you've got Liverpool. That's right, yeah. Right? That's right, yeah. You take your ferry across your Mersey. Oh, that's right, yeah. Then you're in Everton. Oh, yeah. Everton, I, you I see. didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everton. Yeah. yeah. The Reds. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Come right. on, you Reds. Yeah. You Reds. Yeah. Yeah. Those songs they sing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Everton, Everton, Everton. Everton, Everton, Everton. Everton, Everton. Everton, Everton, Everton. Yeah, yeah. What's, that, what's the Liverpool song that adds that go? Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Oh, it's, it's no wonder, is it, that, 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 that town gave birth to the Beatles, well, is it's it, a, really? It's a, it's a, it's a genuinely they really, musical They know musical how to write setting. songs, don't they? But yeah. it's a, good, it's yeah. a, it's a yeah. great game. Yeah. It's, it's a big derby, of course. Is you know? it? Yeah. Well, it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a, it's a yeah. derby match. Oh, yeah. It's very, very, very important for Liverpool. Is it? Obviously, well, because, uh, you know, I mean, if they win this, then they've got a double, you see. Yeah. They've got the league and... And, and the derby. And, and, yeah. yeah. And the derby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, I thought that was a horse race, though, the derby, isn't that? If, mm, no. no, no, you know, no. you're thinking of the national, oh, yeah. I think. I think, I think the national, like, that is a theatre, I think. Isn't that the, what the national is? No. At all? No. No, no. no. But as I find it the same, mate, yeah. it is a culmination. Culmination. Yeah, an epitome. An epitome. A climax. A climax, if you will, yes. of a great week for British football. Is it? How is that then? Well, I mean, uh, the World Cup squad, you see, is now yeah. gathered and ready. Yeah. Yes. yes. And, and the manager, Robbie Bobson. Yeah. He has he's, he's said that we're going to Mexico. Yeah. 
and on, on his pledge to his yeah. fans, he's not coming back empty-handed. Oh, no, right. He'd, he'd probably bring that bottle of whiskey and 200 fags, I should think, if he's got any sense. No. Mind you, that won't go far with it, either. If they're all them England fans, no. I shouldn't think, like, if they shared them out, they probably wouldn't get more no, than no, one on drag, right? No, maybe, he's, maybe he's just like he's just brought them back for the Fulham fans, so then they get two packs each. No. Don't, don't you think that's no. No. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the World Cup. Oh, yeah. The World oh, Cup. Oh, yeah, that whole thing, yeah. The Jules Verne oh, Trophy, yeah. what, as what it was called. That, then? I, I didn't know that old uh, that Jules Verne, he was that like, interested in football. Or was he? You kidding, mate? Blimey. I mean, in his day, I mean, yeah. it was very, very... Well, I'll tell you, in his day, yeah. they had 2,000 leagues under the sea. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, they just run out of room for football oh, pitches yeah, on land. Oh, really, yeah. I mean, that's how popular the game was. Oh, really, yeah. And then, of course, his, uh, and then he wrote his famous one, yeah. of course, uh, around yeah. the World Cup in 80 days. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah oh, no, I mean, it's a yeah. very, very big game. Yeah. Very big game for him, yeah. yeah. You, you, you were just saying how like, it was a big week for football. For though. football? Oh, yeah. Marvellous week for yeah. football. Yeah. Except for the European Cup final, of Yeah, that was... Yeah. What happened there, then? Well, Bucharest won it, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, nil-nil. <laughs> That's clever, isn't it, to win it with a score yeah. like Mind that? Mind you, because yeah. the, their goalkeeper's a national hero now. Is he? Behind the Iron Curtain. Oh, He's yeah. gone back. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they've made him... Uh, they've made him... Um, uh, a colonel in the army, yeah. a captain in the navy. That's right, yeah. And uh, and he gets an extra potato with his goulash every leap year. Now. Does he really? Yeah. Well, that's that's the trouble with footballers today, isn't it? Really, don't you think? Pampered, really. Pampered. Yeah. <laughs> they never change. They never get better. Um, <laughs> confirmation then of the Liverpool side, and the story is that Kevin McDonald plays in the team. Gary Gillespie was unfit this morning and confirmation of the Everton team which of course we knew earlier in the day is that Mountfield was past fit this morning plays at number five and Adrian Heath is once again uh, the substitute for the Everton team well now the Everton players are out on the pitch some of them and uh, I can tell you that they were making certain signs up in this direction to Andy Gray I'm not quite sure what they had in mind for you, Andy. But... Well, they were taking the Michael as usual. They were taking but look, they look very relaxed and really pleased, like, and uh, they seem quite settled. I'm sure they're all looking forward to it. Danny got on me now, having got here. But they look, they're looking fine for them, the lads. It's some occasion for them, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, first ever Mersey final. Well, of course, a, a vital man here today will be uh, Bobby Mims, who's done such a wonderful job in recent weeks uh, in, in the team. And uh, I think he's down there now, he certainly is, and he's able to talk with Bob Wilson. Bobby, this is uh, quite a far removed from Rotherham. Last May, I think you were still there, weren't you? That's right, yeah. I came after the cup final to Everton. It was tremendous, brilliant. Have you really enjoyed it since Neville got that injury? Yeah, every bit of it. It's been brilliant. But just just been big, one big game after another. It's been dead easy to get yourself psyched up for the games and that. How do you feel about the goal now today? I noticed you're having a quick look there. Everybody's commenting about the length of the grass and the uh, and how heavy it is. Well, the grass is long and there's been a lot of rain, but uh, still in good nick, as always. Brilliant. And you're really looking forward to it? Yeah, tremendous. We wish you all the best, right, Bobby. Thank you very much. Good luck. See you. Sharp uh, joining me, Graham. Uh, I've got a little bit of a, a special here for you, because if you put these cans on, there's a mate of yours, Andy Gray, yeah. who's up in our... Uh, up in our gang today, and I'd like a word with you. So, uh, Andy, if you're there, here's Graham. You hear me, Sharp? You're all right. How you doing, Andy? Not bad, Paul. How are you feeling? Man. You feeling all right? Thanks very much for telling me, man. Well you got it all right? I That's two pounds for you owe me then. Oh, I used to, <laughs> I used to take exactly the meal anyway afterwards. So, right, thanks listen. very much. All the best, lad. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Andy. Graham, uh, you're looking forward to the game, obviously. Yes, it's uh, the third time we've been here, but I think every time it's always something special. Uh, just coming out today, saving it again. Fantastic, getting a bit nervous now. Three years on the bounce? Yes, hopefully we can go one better than we did last year. Uh, we're looking forward to it, everybody's quietly confident, so it's looking forward to a good game. Enjoy it, Graham. Good Thanks. luck to you. Thanks very much. And uh, Kevin Ratcliffe's joining us, the skipper. Hello, Bob. Kevin, you you're happy with uh, everything as regards the team? We've been obviously very concerned about Derek Mountfield. Yeah, there was a little bit of doubt um, early on in the week, but I think he's recovered fully now. He went out this morning, it's no reaction from it, so that's great, full side. A wonderful occasion. Am I coming here today? You see the two sets of fans intermingling all the time. Yeah, wonderful. it's great. I mean, you look around, there's blue and red everywhere. You know, every part of the ground, that's just great to see. The one problem is that they've got one pot so far. 
and you're after the other one. Yeah, well, that makes us a little bit more determined, I think, to get that one because uh, we'll never leave it down if they uh, get the two anyway. It promises to be a great game, doesn't well, it? Well, let's hope, hope it is anyway. Sure, it will be. Have a good game. Okay, thanks, Bob. Thanks very much. Cheers.